This week's Technique Tuesday, we're talking about the Russian kettlebell swing. So the kettlebell swing, we want to make sure that we have a good hip hinge, and so until we master the hinge or the deadlift, this is something that we won't want to practice until we get there. So with our setup, we want the bell to be in front of us, making sure that we hike it back, stand a full hip extension, and then be patient with the hips as the bell comes back towards us and get the hips out of the way. So I'll show you a good wrap, and then we'll talk about some of um, the ways that it's done wrong. Some of the common faults are going to be using your arms too much, like so. Uh, so one thing to help with that is to imagine a piece of paper between your armpits, pulling those shoulder blades down so that the arms don't do the work. The second fault is too much squatting and then avoiding the hamstrings and glutes doing the work and squatting too much in the movement rather than hinging back. So imagining a band around your hips that's pulling you straight back is more the movement that you want to get as you do the swing. So we'll go through it one more time correctly. And that is the Russian kettlebell swing.